Hello everyone, this is Ethan Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Arms and Heroes. So, this is just a bit after reset. Ether Raid season starting up. Our new Dark Defense, let's see how they do. I don't expect them to do too well, but I made some modifications, so we'll see how terrible things go. <laughs> uh, I'm sure people will use the Bolt Trap to just set up their gale force or wing shenanigans or whatever so we're going in with this janky team we don't care about bonus units or whatever because we're just fooling around <laughs> so we'll see what we can do off of rando matches this week like usual all right this is a variation of the cav line i personally don't think it's that scary because as a simple example uh we can just get an attack off on who do you call it? It's Celica, and it's pretty much we're free to go, go ham, pretty much. Ophelia is gonna do absolutely nothing to us when we're max buffed and all that good stuff. So I think we're looking pretty good here for turn one. Uh, we can just play pretty aggressive here. Make sure we have animations on for the extra spice, Kappa. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna start out with this. It doesn't okay. really matter too much. We're gonna Do my best. be doing our thing. So this Nino is literally engineered to survive a 70 attack Ophelia after, um, whatchamacallit, chill res. So this Ophelia has no chance of winning. Neither does this Veronica, but they can definitely burn turns for sure. That's fine by, or burn attacks by the dancer. So as you can see, Ophelia does lots of damage and Reinhardt's probably gonna do more damage or zero damage it is, all right. Here we have Surtur coming into town, but we can just eliminate Veronica, use aerobatics to get the heck out of here. And now we're gonna play AI manipulation with Surtur. Have him come downward if he's going that way. I think he's after Azura actually, so. We can just do something like this. And just get the heck out of there. Um, because for one, now his armored boots is goofed by my tactics room. Now it's not. Doesn't matter too much in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we already know that this is whatchamacallit, fake. So we can use that for absolutely no purpose. All right, we gotta stall for an extra turn. It's fine. We have all the turns in the world, so, and he's after Azura, so it's a pretty easy clean here. There we go. So not too bad of a first match. It's like a variation of the cab line. It's not in desert though, so. I would say it's not as great. Someone's already above me. I mean, people are, can definitely do speed runs early on. This team looks kind of threatening. Uh, I think the big problem is there's no dancer, so of course you're going to abuse that. And of course, Yoon in the corner is just the corner strat to punish noobs, pretty much. But of course, you got to ask yourself, um, what happens if I just break the panic manner and just double bait these guys and the answer is we probably just live so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> uh, uh, I think we'll go ahead and do something like something like this turn one I kind of like this let's do that These guys can't get to um, air over here, so we can just break tactics room. There's no Wings of Mercy or any of those shenanigans. Uh, the only thing, of course, is Sabotage Res, but we have more Res than Yoon, so <laughs> that's a rip if I've ever seen one. So we can just do something like this. Um, break this, I guess. I don't see any like sudden panic or any meme shenanigans that could really troll us, so we can hit end turn here. Pretty self-explanatory. 
home's going to do quite a bit because of Luna Arc, but I mean, in the grand scheme of things, this is a piece of cake of a defense to handle. Um, now these guys are coming in. Roy has advantage, but we can counter battery that easy. Uh, Reed's mostly the largest threat here, okay. so I think we can do something like this. As you can see, Roy is not doing a lot of damage there, so that's a free kill. Sure thing. Yes. Uh, as for Caden, we basically have all the buffs we need, so we can go ahead and move over here. Be a little aggressive there. Sabotage Reg and stuff going off, but it's like they're not gonna be doing that much damage. And Yun's just stuck in the corner, so it's a pretty free win. So we'll give Caden the E for pot kill. And we take out Yoon, and that's an easy first or second match. This is so uneventful. I was kind of hoping for uh, <laughs> more stuff. As you can see, we're also climbing up the ranks, Kappa. Uh, of course, my team's incredible. This is, this setup is incredibly weak to, um, or my team is incredibly weak to a solid red unit core. So something like this. Is already going to give me trouble. Um, I'm. I was thinking of doing a meme turn one attack into Sothis, but the problem with that is then we either murder everyone or we get murdered, and I think it's the latter. So I like how someone put a trap here to meme people trying to use smite. I feel like that would actually be real. <laughs> um, but you know, if you, if you think about it c carefully. That's probably our best option for the memes. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's think here. How do we want to approach this team though? Cause it actually kind of matters what structures we break and so on. So we could go for a turn one shenanigan, but um, I don't particularly like that play for one because then they start all rushing in and we have poor we have no means of getting nino the heck out of there quickly we could use air for example but then she would be in range so that doesn't seem like a great approach another approach would be to simply abuse the fact that we have too much hp and so we could try uh one shotting creed for example and like say hit and turn here so if this would bop us really hard though with Sirius, that, that's a lot of damage. That would straight up... I would, I would almost say enough to just straight up murder us, but I think what we have going for us versus Sothis is attack smoke. That's basically it. Is there chill speed somewhere? Yeah, chill speed on Gunther. Uh, we definitely need to get rid of Reed though. Hmm. I feel like he's in one shot range against Nino if we have Caden there. So we have to think about how we're gonna get a Caden there. Um this would probably want Caden here. I don't I'd rather not touch this bolt trap if I don't need to. For the shenanigans, of course. So hmm. There's no, there's the Wings of Mercy is on Legendary Scene. That shouldn't be relevant. It shouldn't be, but let's see. All right. Been ranting too much because I'm brain dead as heck. So, um, I think we can just start off with a super simple turn one, breaking some structures, doing some things. Uh, we don't really need a res buff necessarily because we're mostly going to be worried about our defense. So there's that. I imagine we'll get memes somehow, like Nina will get doubled because we do have, there's chill speed on their team. And so this does have a decent amount of speed, but I think we'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen, Kappa? Um, okay, that's actually a problem. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually uh, buff Kaden. Now that's what I call a mistake if I've ever seen one. Alright, so after that goof, 
Let's do this. I want to do something like... <laughs> do I really want to do this? Um, yeah, let's do it. We're, we're risking the biscuit boys. Okay, that one wasn't real. That's fine. Oh, it looks like we do pick up the kill even without. So let's wing Azura back over here because that's a better play for us. We dodge the meme panic manner, of course. We actually do double soak this, so that's good for us. And we should just pick up a double vantage kill here. And our main struggle will be pick up the ether structures because we burned a turn doing nothing. <laughs> that's just literally what we did. Um, and now. Mystic boost, we literally just peel everything back off. The cheese is so strong. Um, okay. Alright, so the problem here is that tactics... Oh, wait. No, this works out. This works out. Yeah. Alright. Alright. We're doing some meme shenanigans here. <laughs> we're, just, we're just rubbing the salt in the f about the fact that Panic Manor does not affect Nino. Oh my gosh. And we just keep healing it back, so... As you can see, even without any attack buffs or anything, Roy is taking a considerable amount of damage. And then once you actually buff her up, she does a little more. Yeah, but, you know, not too relevant there. So the 56 HP cheese coming in handy. Not everyone has a... I, that match took too long. I dropped ranks. Not like this. <laughs> Memes aside. Um, yeah. Uh, dropping ranks like a pro. Alright. This Sylvia. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Cronia is not a big deal. World Sea Wave Leg Yarn. Also not a big deal. So we can go in for an aggressive bait. If we wish to do so. Um... I think I probably want to do that, into that, into that. Sure. We're gonna do this, 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 and uh, minor mistake, but we'll hit and turn. So we're gonna use the Fest statue as a blockade for Hex, Kappa. I don't even think we need buffs on Nino. I think she's just going to knock everything out the window so okay. that's what we're gonna do bada bing bada boom we are gonna get debuffed though but we do inflict attack smoke there's that oh wait we can just put kate in here that's pretty safe if you ask me all right we can use reposition get azura to give kaden some buffs we get hit by tactics room i don't care so we're just gonna bop these guys out the window Easy peasy, end combat with full HP again. That's how it always should work. And Azura's after. Do my best. Who do you want to call it? I'm, with you. Okay. I'm guessing uh, either my air or legendary Azura again. That's a pretty common theme here. Um, we can just do that. And we have the ether structure. Um. Kaden can't quite pick up the kill there, so we'll all just have him grab the ether structure while Nino bops Azura in the face. All these matches so far have been relatively trivial. Rank 13, Pog, Kappa. <laughs> it's just because I'm doing matches near recent. Okay, this team's actually going to be a threat. Um, infantry Pulse, of course. Hardy bearing on Lilina. Definitely going to be a threat. Um, no doubt about it. So there's a couple things we hypothetically could do. For example, if we were to bait here, then, you know, we would get the continuation of all moves forward. Lilina hits the drawback, and we would get actually Azura, I believe, dancing. I think that's how it works, unless I do some meme shenanigans. Um, a second option I could pull off is to disrupt the infantry pulse ladder. But Lilina's still going to do a crud ton of damage, so I'm going to decline that option. Third option is to attack Azura and get the heck out of here. Um, and again, we dodged the panic manner, so <laughs> the memes are too strong. And you can see all these guys here. So, for example, you know, Alm, worst case scenario, Alm could go here. We get Reinhardt, and then he would get Dance. 
So, you know, at worst, or Alm goes here and we get hit twice by his falchion. Um, the thing is, though, this they're running like odd attack wave, so if we attack during an even turn, he won't have the attack buff. So he'll only have, I believe, 59 attack against Nino. And so, inevitably, what that means is we can wall that. <laughs> um, I think that we can barely wall that. I might do it for the, I might try it for the memes. Actually, no, he has Glimmer, so scratch that. Wait, no, he can't get Glimmer up turn one, can he? Let's check. I don't think he can. He's on the top of the ladder, so no. He can't get Glimmer. So the memes live on, don't they? So if you don't know, with 58 attack, he'll have, what is that, 69 attack against Nino. I can get up to 42 defense with Nino. Um, so I have to take out the Dark Shrine, of course. But uh, after that... <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, that is just that is just so stupid. Oh my gosh! I'm just laughing, thinking. <laughs> okay, so yeah, with 42 defense against 69, 20, 27 times two, so we literally live by two HP. Not clutch whatsoever. All we have to do is bait during an even turn, which. I think we can set up a turn two attack, so that seems pretty pretty good for us. I'm liking that idea. Because you know, worst case scenario, we get well actually the real worst case scenario is it all goes down. And then Lilina say draws back for some reason, and then we get the dance. Actually hold on. No, actually it would be out of range. So yeah. And we're going to be shifting all our units over, so I'm pretty sure Alm will be going that way. Unless they set things up really oddly. Um, okay. There's nothing that could possibly yes. go wrong. <laughs> no lie. Alright, memes aside. Let's do this. Yes. We bop Azura. So now it's turn two, so odd attack wave isn't going to go off, so he's not going to have an attack buff. Cough, cough, and there's four infantry units. Attack tactic won't go off. There's literally no way for him to get any attack buffs. I'm with you. Okay. And we have the classic 56 HP memes. So we're going to smite, I believe, is our best option, and then do this. Actually. I almost screwed something up. I almost forgot about Panic Manor, but we can um, reposition here and still get the buffs. So let's see what happens. The memes. Oh, looks like Alm still went straight. I'm kind of surprised. I really wanted to troll, but I guess we're not going to. <laughs> I really wanted to. I I'm telling you, I really wanted to. Um, so now that the trick question is, what do we do here? <laughs> um, a couple, a couple of options. Of course, we could yes. bait Alm. We ha are easily one-shotting him. Okay. That's no sweat. The problem is, Lilina's last, and we have to get to the Ether structure. So, if we take him out, take out Alm, Lilina goes here. How do we get to the Ether structure without risking anything? That's the question. I'm guessing then we would have have to have air go there and then hmm. do we'll do it. Um, there's no Alm should not be able to one shot Nino. If he does, he's ridiculous. That's all I gotta say. So, here's kind of where things get weird, so I'm not sure what to do here. I'm gonna do this. Probably gonna have to trap Lilina somehow. Yeah, he's not one-shotting. Yes. Actually, we can just do a play. Actually, no, we can't. No, we can use Smite. 
So I'm thinking we, we still have turns to burn, so that's fine. So we can yes. break this with air. Um, and then do this, 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 and this. So this basically allows us to smite air up here, use gray, the broken gray waves for that free movement. And you can see we're just destroying everyone, so we'll give it to Caden for the SP, boys. <laughs> So that was not that was a slightly more difficult match. We're rank eight now, Pog Kappa. <laughs> uh, nothing too special. It's just I'm doing it early again. So it's a flower ball. I have not seen this in a long time. Okay. Well, y'all, I think you all know what I'm seeing. Why can't I just casually take out their dancer, take out Sheeta and company, and just call it a day? Thank you very much. And the answer is, I, I don't think there's any, <laughs> there's anything stopping me from doing that. It's not like Hinoka's actually going to be doing yes. things against Nino, so we're going to go after the ether structures on that side. A little misplay on how I started my turn. It's fine though. It's not a big deal. This is the smite one. I just gotta be sure. <laughs> Um, alright, so now we're almost set up all the way. As you can see, there's no rally traps or anything, so it's it's literally free, free, free attacks. Um, no joke. Of course, I can't be buffed. And they have goad flyers and stuff, so, you know. Pinocchio's gonna do a bit of damage, but let's be real, not that much damage. Um... I'm gonna be that person that smites over here. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about just going in, yeah. Let's just go in. What's the worst that could happen, am I right? The worst thing that could happen is letting the dancer stay alive, so that's what we're gonna... First thing we're gonna do straight up, out of here. Even if a verse had panic play or whatever, it wouldn't work. Um, Really, the only thing I can go wrong is, uh, if somehow things go absolutely chaotic, but we should be able to just, this is just a poorly made defense, uh, flower ball. Because you can just go on the side. You can go on the side with a melee unit, like, it doesn't even have to be a ranged unit. Uh, the fact that I'm using a ranged unit is just for, um... The shenanigans. We don't quite kill Sheeta there. There's no way to get Caden in range. Unless. Unless. No, we can't do that. <laughs> I was I was I was thinking about it. Alright, we'll we'll risk the biscuit. We'll we'll attack Sheeta. Oh, we even have Oh. Well, that makes their situation a lot worse. I was like, why does Nino have 60 speed? <laughs> What? Okay. Yeah, look at this. And with Caden, you know, 49 defense Nino. I like that. <laughs> of course, we're going to get hit by Dark Shrine, but is it really going to matter? No. We're just going to bop and bop and bop. And we're in vantage range exactly. Not rigged whatsoever. So here we have a Camillo of Dull Range, you know? Definitely... <laughs> definitely works well. Yes. Oh boy. Well... <laughs> there we go. I did not notice we had Ford advantage. That, that was something else. And there we are, folks. Rank 1, Kappa. <laughs> we are rank 1 for this season. 100% no lie. But yeah, none of those matches were that difficult. Um, people will pass me. I'm using a plus 130 team. If I were actually trying, you know, I would have up like plus 150 because I have a plus 10 air as well now. So I would, I would have been able to get 50 more lift. 
But, you know, that's, that's, I'm not really trying too hard. It's just that Nino is pretty strong, like many units in Aether Raids when you buff them up pretty well. And 56 HP to dodge those panic manners is some great salt. <laughs> and, oh hey, I guess, why not? Just because I, I'm brain dead, I'll have a good, I'll have a look at someone facing my Aether Raids defense. All right, yeah, this seems pretty good. They're obviously, they're using a Fey engine, but what is that defense stat? Yikes! The res, even the res, is not that amazing. Like what? Her HP is fine though. Like this is, there isn't summoner support that might be helpful for even more HP. But I'm guessing they have it on a no, not on a verse either. I don't know. Don't ask me. Um, so, I can see what could have went wrong here. Yeah, that would, that would, that would do it. Um, so here we have Selif trying to 1v1 in a tight corner. <laughs> um, so my Sonya does not one-shot very well, so, uh, it's not great. Selif unable to kill there, but he does a crud ton of damage. So he's already done enough. I imagine even Sylvia could maybe even pick up the kill, but Sothis using ground orders is going to go to town. So yeah, that, that's a pretty big rip. But yeah, I've, I've actually... Uh, my Sonya is not that great. My Caden during light season can tank it. <laughs> that's how bad. That's how bad she is. It's like what? My Caden during light season can tank it, and he and he does not have that much bulk. It's because uh, Sonya, my Sonya is not merged up. Doesn't have flowers or any of those shenanigans, and our res is not amazing. Like if I buffed up her res to. Let's say it's 50 for easier calculations than 46. It's not that big of a difference, but you know, that makes it easier because that's a 50 damage off of Glacies plus Dark Excalibur's bonus damage and then 54 attack. So you really only need a unit with at least 105 res bulk to live, Sonya. Um, of course, you probably don't want to do it like that, but if you're a red unit, it's a lot easier to live that for sure. Then she only has like 44 attack, and her glacies is not at 50 res either, anyways. Unless she gets danced by Sylvia, so it's a flat 50. It's like is, this isn't that amazing. This team's not that great. Makaya with ground orders is nice for trolling. I have Bright Shrine to help try to be slightly tankier. I don't really care about lowering unit bulk because if I can't kill without the debuff, it's like with the debuff, it probably would not matter. And if it does, I'd still prefer Bright Shrine. Um, so there's that. And of course we have our level five panic manner here to troll. I mean, I don't really care if you know what, which traps were. I mean, it's you should be able to tell for the most part. This would be a waste of a spot because you can just snipe from here, you know. So this is pretty obvious, and obviously you don't want to go here because then that would be free vantage setup. Of course, you'd have to be able to deal with the hardy bearing unit, but honestly, I know people can do it. I've already seen it happen. So I originally had the bolt trap here, but. Um, the problem was people would just chip down Sothis with it, which was kind of the intention, but then she would just get bopped and then they would run properly and then they would be able to execute well in the falling turns. So yeah, it was not the greatest choice for me. So we'll see how our defense does this week, but enough ranting and side tracking. <laughs> That's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Eth Dragon. And hope to see you all next time. Bye.